extend my felicitations to my countrymen in during overseas Pakistan. August 14, 1947 saw the successful culmination of the heroic struggle of the Muslims of the subcontinent for the right to have a separate homes. Pakistan appeared on the world map through the democratic struggle and its progress and prosperity lies in continuation of the democratic system. The present coalition government has undertaken various historic initiatives during the last four and a half years and pursued a policy of reconciliation. The passage of 18 constitutional amendment, the consensual adoption of 17 national finance commission are something in this regard. We also fashioned a country fund policy and accord with the parliamentary guidelines and national strengths. I am reminded of Tadi Adam's message on the inauguration of Pakistan Broadcasting Service on August 15, 1947. Tadi said, The creation of the new state has placed a tremendous responsibility on the citizens of Pakistan. It gives them an opportunity to demonstrate to the world how can a nation containing many elements live in peace and amity, work for the betterment of all its citizens, irrespective of caste and creed, solidarity and understanding. This year, 14th of August falls in the holy month of Ramadan. Thus, this holy month carries an incident to us. On this blessed occasion, we bow our head in eternal gratitude to Allah the Almighty for the service and pray for the security, unity, progress and prosperity of the country. Let us pledge to work together and commit ourselves to the progress and prosperity of our nation by setting aside our mutual differences so that the country can get its right place 